Now, this is the time that we have come to examine ourselves. The potter's power is before us. The book of Isaiah chapter 29, verses 15 to 20. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? Surely, your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, He made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, He had no understanding? Is it not yet a very little while, And Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, And a fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest? And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. The meek also shall increase their joy in the Lord, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. Amen. When the clay is not obedient unto his maker, the world that he or she lives in becomes a world of hatred and a world of head scratching. And the Spirit of God went on to say, most of the time, the people of God say to themselves, this part of my life should not be like this. That part of my life should not be like that. And most of us think we could do better than the potter. He said, there is nothing you can do to change the way you are made. You cannot make yourself stronger than what you are. The potter knows how you should be protected, refined and sharpened. But Israel, wake up and do what they like. When the Spirit of God referred to Israel, let not your mind go to the geographical location. That's not what he's referring to. When he says Israel, he's talking about you and I. And he is saying, Israel, get up and do what they like. Forgetting that they were molded by the potter. And he said, the children, God's children, do not care who they trample on to get to where they want to go. And hide their secret ways thinking that is hidden but is before the potter and he said they go to places and mold themselves how they want to be and they seek for the red linen to tie on the neck of the vase he said they seek the shiny stone and hide it and they express themselves among the congregation he said you cannot dig deep and hide yourself and promote yourself among the congregation for you are not smarter than the one who formed you the way he wanted and the spirit of our Christ continued by saying the living God who protects what he has made is saying I have put you there I shall determine what your life is supposed to be we dig deep to hide our counsel from the Lord and we dig deep to do what we are not supposed to do and we do not consider what our potter is saying and from time to time you think you are better than everyone else he said some dig deep to hide their souvenir the souvenir that you bought from Tenerife our world collapses because of what we are doing in secret Shall the one that made the eyes, shall he not see? He said, when you think you are so smart, you give the enemy the chance to sniff around you. There's no time for you to be seeking power that is no power to God. Verse 17 says, is it not yet a very little while and Lebanon 
shall be turned into a fruitful field, and a fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest? Amen. Concerning this verse, the Spirit of God said, If you believe in the one that formed you, and know that you should not seek to hide your counsel or to hide from God, Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field. He said, When others have crashed, you shall be standing, because you are where the potter is standing. He sees and knows where you are, capped. If you know that the power of the potter is there, you will not seek deep to hide. The Spirit of God continued by saying, We hurt others, and we do not know how much we cross people because of our exaggeration. This has come, that the power of the potter shall break yesterday's pot to remold it and when the changes shall come be ready he said oh people of god he said you turn things upside down you deform your brother's value and the information you're sharing out about him or her is causing pain and putting somebody in jeopardy Unto them doing these things in secret, he continued by saying, When you go and buy the ring, they will tell you what instruction you are to follow concerning the ring. And that information shall contradict you. You turn things upside down to demean your sister so you can be seen as the one or to be seen as the best. And he said, If there is a time for you to seek the welfare of your brother or sister, that time is now. He said, Be wise and know that you are just a clay. The potter has power to deform or reform, says the Holy Spirit of our Christ. He said, We defame others and we assassinate our neighbor's character and feel that our neighbor should not supersede us. These are the words from above. He said, If you concentrate on the power of the potter, your Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field. This is a call for change. Because he said, Your own understanding that is burying you shall shatter your imagination and break you in pieces. Come home quickly, people of God. Not just in word, But in mind, soul and spirit, come home. He said, If you do not mix with the bottle, with the red linen tied at the top of it, change shall come. And his spirit continued by saying, When you are in the potter's hand, you do not fear, but rather you enjoy what he is doing. And in that instant, all day, that are doing things in secret against you shall be the clay in the potter's hand. You see, the idea that you have to overcome your brother so you can go to seek an unnecessary authority which shall break you down tomorrow is not worth it. You put your sister in a situation that you know definitely she cannot come out of it. Bearing false witness. For some, you know what you're supposed to do to support your brother. So he may have his life back, you don't do it. And he said, many of you have joined the company of witches and they are sacrificing even their own children. Who? Are you contending with, says the Lord. He said, there's no other way but one direction. Success or failure shall only be determined by the potter. Minus or pluses shall only be determined by the potter. He said, no clay shall take the place of the potter. There is nothing hidden that shall not be revealed, says the spirit of our Christ. 
And he continued by giving us the book of Jeremiah chapter 18, verses 6 to 8. Amen. O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter, saith the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in mine hand, O house of Israel. At what instant I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up and to pull down and to destroy it? If that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. Amen. Concerning this he said, Who is she and who is he? Who is saying that their leg is bigger than the other. So they're going to do something about it themselves and change it. In other words, who can say that their present state could have been better if they were in control? Who are you that you should say this? He said, I know it before it comes. I am the potter and shall use that same condition to resurface you. I am he that knows what is to come, says the Lord. O house of Israel. He said, we consult with the friend. Because she is holding a champagne glass in one hand and Porsche keys in the other hand. He said, believe in the gospel and your attitude shall change. He continued by saying, I know how the sun and moon rises and sets and no one can change the cycle. He said, four minus one equals three and no one can change it. And no one can add to it or minus it. The sum cannot change. The answer is the same. And forever shall it be. So are ye in his hand. And his spirit continued to express himself and say, You are walking with God and you are close friends, but you are keeping secrets from God. You are keeping secrets from God who you call your friend. The Spirit of God said, You are not transparent. And he said, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their secret works. And he has also given us Isaiah chapter 45 verses 9 and 10 which says, Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Let the potsherd strive with the potsherds of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it, What makest thou? Or thy work, he have no hands? Woe unto him that saith unto his father, What begettest thou? Or to the woman, What hast thou brought forth? Amen. And he said concerning these verses, You put yourself in danger. Because you want to be at the top of the mountain when it is not your time. And he said, there is no grace on earth. For every grace is given unto them that know the meaning of what he or she is doing. No precept, no judgment shall come from the foreign world, shall come from the dark world. Unto you who is listening. Hear what the word of God came to say concerning you. He said, you have been eaten from it and you have been satisfying yourself and hurting others, thinking that the journey to Tenerife will do something good in your life. Now listen. He said, now the members are saying it is your turn to give your child, your only child for sacrifice. Repent and pray for forgiveness. He said, the potter knows what you are supposed to be and what you will be comfortable in. But when you see your brother in a nice shoe, that's what you want. Your neighbor tells you, bro, the reason why you're in pain and the reason why your feet is swelling is because the shoe that you're wearing is too tight. You're not wearing the right shoe. But many 
belittle the word given. He said, things can only change if you remain and come back into his hand. Listen, he said, when they open their eyes in the secret world and they see you, all they can see is fire. And by this, they shall see that they cannot hurt you. Why? Because you have allowed the potter to take control. He said, no one shall take a piece of you and run away with it. He said, put not your trust in the bottles and in the shiny stones. He said, put not your trust in a friend. Unto you who is tempted, the word of God has descended to say unto you, do not go. For some don't even have money, but they borrow money. So they go and they purchase. But there's one thing. They who you are purchasing from will not tell you the consequences of what follows by embarking on this evil journey. Later, it will take its toll. And he concluded by giving us the book of Romans chapter 9 from verses 15 to 21. Amen. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then, it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that sheweth mercy. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, Even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might shew my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore, have he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will, he hardeneth. Thou wilt say then unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? For who have resisted his will? Nay, but, O oh man, who art thou that replies against God? Shall the thing form say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Have not the potter power over the clay, or the same lump to make one vessel unto honour, and another unto dishonour? Amen. And concerning this he said, Who have resisted his will? He said, Who art thou that replies against God? He said, The additives is changing the taste of your soup. He said, don't create opposition to yourself. This has come that you should be builded. This has come, he said. He knows the culprit. He who has ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says. He said he knows the culprit and he will deal with them. When you call God, he shall change and rebuild the broken life. Who? Is he or she who shall climb to the top of the mountain without it being given from above? He said, this position you are in has been formed by the enemy to persuade you to change course and to go to Tenerife. In other words, to embark on the journey where the light of God cannot be found there. He said, it has been established that you will never recover from the condition that is giving you something to think about. He said, the condition shall be reversed and woe unto them who think no one can see their intention to capsize your boat. The spirit of our Christ said, woe unto them. He shall fashion and shall rebuild as according to his word. And the parting message that he's given unto you and I is this. Do not listen to what your mind is telling you, but seek for the word of the potter. God bless you all, brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen.